When I started this channel, I made a commitment to myself that I would keep the videos about the art. And that commitment's only to myself. It's not for anyone else or anything like that. And I guess that's because I believe that when you have a channel, um, it's good to keep it about a certain topic because that way viewers will kind of know what to expect when coming to your channel and you're not just doing a bunch of random stuff. Although it is okay to have channels that are dedicated to random stuff, I'll say that too. But this channel is for the most part about the art. And that's how I've tried to keep it and that's how I'm still gonna try to keep it. But here's the thing, there's a whole part of my life that's just not about making art, as I'm sure you can imagine. So what I do for a living is I buy and sell things. And I really enjoy doing this business. I haven't really recorded much of it. And the thing is, is that I should be recording some of it because it is related to the art in a big way. And so just to kind of stay on track here, as far as keeping this channel about making the artwork, what I'm gonna to try to do today is show you guys an example of how my main business, which is buying and selling things, is related to my art. And it always has been. I mean, because here's the thing, as an artist, you've got to try to get your materials and tools and anything that's related to your art as inexpensively as possible. And so the way that I do that is I go to garage sales, moving sales, estate sales, auctions, swap meets, thrift stores, etc., And I look for good deals on stuff that I can use for my art so that when I'm doing my art, I'm not overpaying for the things I need for my art so I'm not stressed out about selling my art. Because, hey, who wants to make art with solely the idea of selling it? That's not what art's about. Art's about doing it because you love to do it. Now, if you sell it, great, hey, bonus. But for me personally, I wanna make the art that I wanna make and I don't wanna compromise making art only because I need to sell it. That's not what art's about for myself personally. Maybe that's what it's about for some people and that's perfectly fine. I don't wanna judge anyone's art in any way whatsoever. But for me, I wanna go out and I wanna get my materials, my tools, and anything related to my art as inexpensively as possible. So today, what I wanna to try to demonstrate in this video is how going to estate sales, which that's what I went to on Saturday, can be very beneficial to your art. So what I did is I went up to an estate sale on Saturday and I, I bought a bunch of stuff for one thing and I brought it home and put it away and all that. But I put a down payment on a couple of workbenches, which I'm gonna pay the rest today and pick them up. And, you know, obviously I use workbenches in my art. And I can't guarantee that I'll use these particular workbenches in my art, because who knows, I may sell them. But anyway, um, they're up in Ojai. And this is just to give an example of how going bargain hunting can actually be very beneficial to your art. Okay, I'm getting close to the sale here. Um, oh, I think I'm here. So who knows? I mean, if they're just in the mood to get rid of stuff, then, you know, I might end up getting a good deal. They have a dumpster right there. And hey, guys, I'll admit it. I, I have no shame in admitting it. I am a dumpster diver. And, you know, like I say, if you can get deals on stuff for your art cheap that's great if you can get it free even better but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna be checking out this dumpster here too that they've got right there and yeah hi there yeah those are heavy yeah.
Nice. I like your gate. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I went to a sale. They had the perfect size painting to go on there. And these guys were huge Batman fans, so they thought it was cool that it said Joker was here. That's what I was like, who got the artwork? <laughs> yeah, they, uh, these guys told me, you've got to use this as your tailgate. So I'm like, hey, sounds like a good idea. Put some hell bent for election. Yeah. He bought those benches. Uh huh. Oh yeah, they're and awesome. They're awesome. And he brought, shut down the place. Yeah. They gave. We brought it over here to you. That's it. That's So this turned out to be an incredibly good stop to buy stuff. Um, yeah, the workbenches are just absolutely fantastic. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I got them for a really good deal. So I gave her a $50 down payment. That's for both of them. So they were $50 each. I gave her the down payment on Saturday. And then, you know, I picked them up today. I gave her the other 50 bucks. Um, the shopsmith inside, there was no room for it today, but they sold it to me for $75, which I'm not a big shopsmith fan, to be honest. They're hard to sell, but for $75, I can easily double it. I mean, shopsmiths, they just, they don't fly off the shelf around here in Ventura where I live. So, you know, I'm sure there's people who love them, but they're just not around my area because I've had them before. They're kind of hard to sell, but I will make money on it. <clears throat> yeah, and then what happened is they had some stuff in the dumpster, which obviously they just gave the stuff that I wanted to me out of the dumpster, which there was some wood and there was some scrap metal and stuff, you know, so I did get a little bit of that, not too much, but a little bit. Um, oh, we got a truck that's smoking real bad. Look at that. I would say he needs to do his smogging on that truck because that truck will not pass the smog test. Whoa, man, it smells terrible too. Well, my last recording I was doing ended up stopping because I was getting a phone call from my friend Tom. He's a really good customer and he's coming down. So I'm, I'm gonna, gonna surprise him and ask him to help me unload these workbenches. They're pretty heavy. I might be able to do the top one myself, to be honest, if he's not here. But the bottom one's pretty darn heavy. And what's happening is I used to have a table right here, okay? I was using this table right here. Uh, you can see it right there. But what happened is all the rain, I had it covered, but all the rain ended up weakening the legs and I went to move it and the legs broke off. So yeah, I don't have a workbench here, which is where I want it. There's some equipment underneath the tarp right here because it's been raining. Then I got this workbench really cheap, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and move this guy because it ain't great. I mean, you know, it's just something I got that you know, it's definitely something I could use, but these two new ones right here, oh man, they're just so much better. So I'm gonna be using these guys, hopefully. But I want you guys to know that if you don't see these in a video, there's a very good reason for it. And that's because I buy and sell things and I'm not gonna advertise these, that is not the plan. But what happens is people come over here you know, for other things, and I've got a lot of regular customers as well as I advertise other things, they're gonna see these and they're gonna say how much. So these are really good quality workbenches. So yeah, if I do end up selling them, 
it's not that I advertised them. It's more that just somebody saw them and wanted them. And I'm definitely going to make some profit on these if I do sell them. Check these bad boys out. Look at these suckers. They're really nice. Hell yeah, dude. Look at those. Yeah. Yeah. Check these bad. Twenty bucks. Yeah. I just, uh, I bought. I actually put a down payment on these workbenches on um, on Saturday. And I went and picked them up. Some really nice workbenches. I'm gonna drag this over here. Hey, Owen. <laughs> I, I need you to have an excuse to come back. Yeah. Um, so I go all the way down on the ground. Dude. So we'll move it right next to that other one. Move it right over here. Yeah, look at this one. So let's be careful right here. And then we can put it on the dolly and move it into position. Almost there. We can walk it. Get a little bit. There we go. You want to flip it down now? No, no. When I go all the way over in the position and flip her on down. Right here. That's a hook, huh? <sighs> I think it's maple. Yeah, I think it's maple. I have a little for this. It's like a wrench. It's... Come here, buddy. Yeah. And over here, these are my $1 tools underneath this piece of plywood right here. All those tools are $1 each. And then all these tools over here, underneath this one are $2 each right here. Two bucks each for all those tools. Now, as cool as these workbench tops are right here, I'm not gonna leave them on there. It's just because I don't need them, you know? And I just need the work surface. But what I will do is I will sell these separately. You know, there's electrical in there, right there, look at that. Um, there's a power strip up here. Look at that right there, power strip, plugs. I mean, these things are awesome. And if I had an interior shop, I would probably keep these, but I just don't need them. Look at that power strip right there. But yeah, these are awesome, but I'm just gonna have to sell them separately. I don't know how sellable this one is, but this one, because it's got the butcher block top, you know, this one's worth actually a pretty decent amount of money. So that's a good one to sell.
And as I unloaded the truck, I put everything that I got right here and I'm just gonna run through it with you guys really quick. So I pulled this water bottle out of the garbage. I'll have to pull the dirt out, but this is a good easy 10 bucks right here. And this grinder stand, they gave this to me. They just said you could have it. This is like a good 20 bucks for that grinder stand. I got this acetylene tank. I bought this wire right here. This is some thick wire off the top of my head without looking. It looks like number six to me. So definitely resellable. I pulled this out of the garbage can. This is a couple of fan motors, or actually that's just, is that one fan motor and a bunch of nails? So scrap metal, there's another fan motor. Here's part of the shop smith I'm gonna pick up tomorrow. I bought the leaf blower for a good deal. They just threw this in there. Uh, that's not really worth anything. They gave me the skateboard and I'm not a skateboard guy, but I know these wheels might be worth something. You know, I'll have to look those up. Maybe an eBay item, possibly, I don't know. Um, these were in the garbage, so I grabbed those. I bought this light, I think for like 10 bucks, just real cheap. I got this wire, this is coaxial, so this isn't really worth much. But this roll of wire may be, and I'll have to look at the numbers on it. This might even be an eBay type item. Sometimes this wire sells for quite a bit on eBay. Then I asked her, I said, hey, I want this crate. You know, I don't really want the stuff in it, but in exchange for the crate, I'll haul all the stuff off that's in it. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna give this stuff away that's inside. This is just freebies for my customers. They can have it, but I want the crate because these things are nice to put stuff in. They stack really well. Um, I pulled this wood out of the garbage can right here. So that was free. So overall, today was an epic day. And I'm gonna go back tomorrow and get the shopsmith and possibly some other stuff because they had stuff in another garage that I didn't show on the video. So yeah, um, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. But for today, how much? Uh, this is good. Oh, how much for that? That looks like about, where did you get that off the $1? Oh, yeah. That's just $1. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. You got a dollar right on. There's a little puller there. I already had an ending for this video, so I told myself I wasn't gonna shoot any more video today. But then I thought, you know, it really wouldn't be fair to end this video without showing you guys the end of day two here. So what I wanted to do is just show you what I got today. Um, I already talked about the shopsmith, and that's right here. And I've already mentioned that I paid $75 for it, so I think that's a good deal. And then they gave me this cement mixer, totally free. Obviously not in good condition, very rough, but if nothing else, it's at least two to 300 pounds of scrap metal I could recycle. But I'll try to sell it first. And then I got these two pieces of wood. They were literally loading the dumpster. So those pieces of wood would have ended up in the dumpster if I didn't take them. In here is a stereo amplifier that looked pretty good. And they said, hey, you wanna take it so we can keep it out of the landfill? I said, yeah. And I got some more wood right here. You know, some small pieces of hardwood, but good quality stuff. So, and oh, they gave me a couple batteries for free just for recycle, obviously non-working. And then they gave me those gas cans for free. And then down here, this is some wire that I actually paid a few bucks for, but some good wire right there. So that's actually 14.3 Romex the circular kind of Romex, not the normal flat kind that you normally see. But um, yeah, so that's it. I've got to unload this stuff and get on with the day.